Oh, hey guys, Grandpa here. In this episode, we're doing something again a little different than my normal videos. I went skeet shooting. I haven't been to the range in a long time. Thought you guys might enjoy watching a round of skeet. Anyhow, here it goes. There's always something that needs fed up here on Grandpa's farm in Alaska. A place where you're always welcome. Come on, Lily. Let's go feed. One more round. We'll make it an even hundred and call it a day. What do they charge for round of keep? Uh, you don't know, okay. Well, I think it's like seven. Seven? Are you a member or not member? Uh, I don't know yet. I'll find out when I get inside. Uh, I think it varies. Huh. I think if you're a, I think it's something like seven bucks, seven or eight bucks a round. Fair enough. Now let's see if we can do a little better this time, shall we? Yep. Paul! Paul! Dead pair. Paul! Sorry. I forgot. Oh, okay. I was like, did I get them both on one shot? Just go to single them. Okay. I'll wait for it to get out here. There we go. Now you have, now you have your option low because it might screw up. It's all right. Fall. That's all right. Get the pressure off early. Paul! Paul! Trying to remember my shooting form. Paul! Well, that pair wasn't pretty, but they're dead. Paul? Paul? Ah, way under it. That's two down. Shoulders feeling it now. I wish I'd bought that 28 gauge. Ball. Ball. Red pair. Down two still. Well, actually, we would have shot that uh, low house earlier. I'm used to shooting it. What's that? I'm used to shooting this low house about right here. Try to catch him in the middle? Yeah. Yeah. Of course I've also been like coached for a couple of years for a couple of years, so I'm trying to like they want you to shoot at a certain spot. Yeah. Even though I Well you do. You that's yeah. exactly what you want to do. You know, I, I try to set for the center pin. Yeah. So I put my lead foot pointing to the center pin. Yeah. Okay, that's where I set up from. I go to here. That's where I want to shoot the bird. I want to shoot it right there. And I go back to the house. I swing through it as it crosses the center pin. Ball. Ooh, I was over the top of that one. Oops, I should open that one. Anyway. Ball. Whoa, what the hell was that one? Did you see that one put the brakes on? Yeah, it went, woo. It went up, it kind of like stopped and went on. So what am I down now, three? Damn. 
Ah, crap. I suck. What? Son of a bitch. See if you get away like that. That time you <laughs> caught up with it. Now you got the pair. We'll go with the doubles. Ball! Okay. Oh. Ah, double loss. That's six down. That wind picked up. Yeah, that one just dove, dove for the ground while the other one's like, okay. Well, that's it. The wind's blowing this way, so one was pushed down, one was pushed up. Oh, that's fun. Fun. Paul. Now see here, I look at that stake where those clay targets land, and I line up on that. Paul. Ah, shot the top of it. Where am I, down seven? Yep. Down seven. Actually, you know what, uh, you know what wouldn't help? It would help you actually for skeet. When you shoot those two birds, you should always have a second between those two. Only like a hair. Yeah? I'm second. taking too long, huh? Well, here's what, actually, I could show you back there, but when you shoot them, a lot of times when I shoot them, I break this this low house. Yeah. I break it, and then I break that other one. I break them up. I try to get them about less than a foot from each other. That's harder to do when you get older. We slow I, down a little bit. Yes, but the thing is, the targets don't change. Well, yeah. Well, That's one of the reasons why sometimes when I'm shooting a low station, I'll shoot the high house first. I'm shooting a tight choke. Yeah. Better for me to shoot both targets over here instead of both targets over there. Yeah. But a lot of the... to each his own. Paul. Oh. Ooh, I almost missed that one. Swung on that one wrong. Paul. Oh. There we go. Thank you, sir. Yep. We'll call it a day right there. My shoulder's sore. Hundreds enough for one now, one day. Maybe I'll come back in a couple days and do another hundred. Well, how about them toad suckers? Ain't they sappy? Sucking them toads all shore, make them happy. Hug them, mug of toad suckers way down south. Sticking them sucky toads in Zay mouth. I be a toad sucker, knowing a duck it. You just find an old toad and you rear back and suck it. Folks, you have a good day. Bye.